hey you guys it's cam welcome back to my channel so today i am so excited to share this video with you guys it's all about how i got this gorgeous and i mean gorgeous style on my client it's a bob um we absolutely loved how it came out so stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy it so to begin of course we shampooed and conditioned her hair now i'm just checking her scalp to make sure there's no um, leftover residue make sure her scalp is clean and i'm applying a thermal heat protectant and a serum just to make sure her hair is nice and soft and shiny so i went ahead and detangled her hair as you guys can see she had a, a little bit of heat damage in the front of her hair she's been um, flat ironing her hair at home herself for about a year so that's what's going on in the front and right now we are just blow drying i like to use a blow drying attachment which is just like a comb at the end of my blow dryer i, I get this from sally it's only like five dollars so I love this, it makes the process so much easier. Okay you guys, so once I get the hair 100% dry, I like to use my Denman brush and just go over the hair one more time just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and ready for the press. So this is like the most important part to me, just making sure you have a good foundation. So next I go ahead and add my Olaplex oil, which I love. It's super weightless, but it gives a beautiful shine and it has a heat protectant in it. So I also add um, Mazani Thermal Smooth I think that's the shine spray and now I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron so as you guys can see I'm just hitting her roots a few times then I make sure to only do one pass down the shaft of her hair this is really important when I'm um, trying to prevent heat damage the least you can go down the hair the better so I like to just do one pass and then I'll do another pass when I'm curling so I know somebody's gonna ask what's the name of this flat iron so this is the babyless pro nano titanium one and a quarter inch I think and it's black I use a lot of different flat irons but um, this is the one I'm using right now but Babyliss is my favorite I pretty much only use theirs and I use one um, Paul Mitchell flat iron a ceramic one so we're gonna go ahead and cut we're just discussing our plans just to make sure we were both on the same page so here I am sectioning her hair I like really clean parts when I am doing a cut so I'm starting at the back of her head. I section from ear to ear right above the occipital bone. I'm going to go ahead and do my first cut. So the goal for this cut is a bob, kind of like an asymmetrical bob. We want the front a little bit longer and the back to have that body and the layers and all that. So, so you'll see me pulling the hair back, which is called over directing. I like to over direct back when I'm doing a, a cut like this because it automatically gives me more length in the front because we are taking more space and pulling the hair from one direction to the other. So it automatically gives me a longer length in the front. So I'm gonna replay this because you might be thinking, what the heck is she doing? So this is called point cutting. This is done, or I like to do this when I know I wanna have a style that isn't super harsh at the end. So you don't want that super heavy feeling at the bottom, that super blunt cut. This just gives it a lot of movement, makes the um, finish result really soft and you know, flirty fun not too harsh and blunt so now i'm just kind of perfecting that section just making sure there's no straggles no loose ends when i want everything to be really nice and precise so here you guys can see again i am going to be pulling all of that hair back so watch right here i'm pulling the hair back so if you see what i mean the points and right in the corners those hairs are being pulled so they're not being cut as much as the middle is so that just gives me a little bit more length in the front kind of just perfecting that diagonal or the asymmetric look okay so i'm going to go ahead and pretty much just break this back section down into smaller sections i like to do this because it just gives me more of a clean cut than just cutting it all in one big piece so what I do is I just cut a section that's thin enough for me to see through the hair and I can follow my guide that way. The guide is your starting point. So that first section that we started with is going to be my guide for the rest of my haircut. So as you will see, I will break that whole back section down into small sections and this will keep my cut just really nice, clean and precise. So your finger angles will be very important when doing a cut like this because that will determine how deep your diagonal is or how drastic the change in the front is. So you wanna make sure that your finger angles are consistent throughout the whole cut. Mm -hmm. 
So here you'll see I am finishing off that back section. If you look closely, you will see that the back part looks like an upside down V. So that's the goal. You want the middle to be at its shortest and you want it to get longer on both sides. So it's not perfectly shaped right now, but I will go back and tweak all that at the end. So just stay tuned. Okay, so to finish this portion of the haircut, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the front sections. So I'm just following my guy, which is the back, and creating that perfect angle to the front of her head. So here I'm just trimming her in, making sure everything is nice and even. Again, I'm point cutting just to get rid of some harsh lines and really soften things up a bit. So next you'll see we're just checking everything out, making sure everything looks good. She wanted, she liked the length in the front. She liked the one side a little bit longer, which I thought was super cute. So now for the fun part, we're gonna go in with some layers, just some texturizing. You know, we wanna give it some movement. So this is the key to those really like cute movable bobs that y'all are seeing on instagram they're moving when they shake their hair their hair is going everywhere this is it it's the so layers. i also like to point cut my layers, layers. It's just keeps the bob. everything it's soft my it helps you know blend out your so layers cute. really just nicely you know harsh lines we don't like that and also on the front of her head i don't do super short layers like i would in the back i like to do my layers a little longer as you can tell just because when she puts her hair behind her ear or pulls it up in a ponytail she doesn't have those short pieces you know just sticking out everywhere so I like to do my layers a little longer in the front so I just told her to put her head down so I could get the long hairs underneath at the bottom this is really important because you don't want the long hairs to peek out when you put your head down you know so this is just a little refinement Okay, y'all, so now for the fun part, we're going to go ahead and style her. So we went for more of like a wispy um, feather look. So no curls, just, you know, some swooping. So the key to this look is just pulling all of the hair to the middle of the head. So I'm going to curl all of the hair backwards. Not a harsh curl, just a little bump, a little feather, you know, a little attitude. We love that. So we're gonna do the same thing in this back section. We're gonna curl everything to the right. It's a nice little feather look. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the right side. Pull everything to the left, right to the center. So now we're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of holding spray. This is the Chi Royal Treatment Ultimate Control Hairspray. It's not too hard, you know, it's perfect, perfect hold. And I went ahead and combed her out, just kinda, you know, perfecting her style. This is the fun part. Watch this, y'all. Check these layers out. This is so beautiful. This is, oh, look at it. That's gorgeous. A little more spray. Then we did the Mazzani HRM spray and the Shine spray. That's just some humidity resistant um, spray and then like a oil sheen. Really light, really airy. Then I also went back and put a little bit more um, Olaplex number seven. Oh, look at that cut. Look at the angles, y'all. So her hair came out absolutely beautifully. I'm still looking at pictures and all because I'm in love with it. But yeah, she loved it too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely be back 
with more videos like this let me know what you guys would like to see next i almost forgot to tell you guys make sure you're following me on instagram because i'm doing a hair color giveaway so other than that i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe